everyone, this is Karen. Welcome to Scrap by Scrap. If you are new, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out what we do here at Scrap by Scrap. And if you've been here for a while, I appreciate you coming back and sticking with me. So today we are going to work on um, a wooden mirror that I got um, at Savers for $2.99. I thrifted it and I'm going to use every mold I can find and just flower it all up. Um, I also wanted to say that molds, um, I was at Hobby Lobby and they have a ton of molds. Like I got this one for $2.99. So um, if you have a Hobby Lobby near you, watch for their sales. Um, if it's not on sale, it will be the ne next week. So don't buy anything until it's on sale because it will it's like they have a whole system, but if you go and you look at their um, flyer online, it'll show you everything that's on sale. And literally everything is on sale. It just depends on what week it is. So I'm going to put you down and we're going to get started. So this is the frame. Um, it's got a little mirror. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or put a picture in it, but I did realize that I have not sanded it. So I'm just going to give it a little scuff so that um, anything I try and stick to it when I do go to paint it it will um, stick all right so we're just gonna put this off to the side and we are going to start making flowers so we're gonna need kind of a lot to cover over that entire um, frame so I brought out anything that had flowers or swirly things. I'm gonna stick with flowers first. So I'm gonna fill these two and this one. Oh, I also got this one for like a dollar something. I've never used either one of those. I just opened them. So I'll let you know how they are. Okay, so I am using apparently, cause this is what I have. Um, this is the IOD clay. Um, I really, my favorite clay is um, the paper clay, and I'm probably gonna have to get some, so I will show it to you, I'm sure, soon enough. Um, you can use um, cornstarch or powder or whatever you want in your stamps. I don't. Um, I've only had a problem once, and it wasn't because it got stuck, it was because it was really thin and it um, was ripping off every time I took it out of the mold. So I am just gonna throw clay in all of these. Okay, so I got my new clay because I was out. Um, this is the clay that I love. And it's $12.99 at Hobby Lobby, but it, it does buy it when it's on sale because it's 40% off. Then we'll I use know. my favorite. I don't know what the difference. I mean, it's called paper clay. I don't know why it's why I like it so much, but it's a lot um, well, it's more wet than the IOD clay or the marshmallow stuff here. See how far we got. And how much further we have to go. Because the other thing you can do is you can cut it straight across or you can bend it. It's entirely up to what kind of look you're looking for. So let's see if... Because 
because I like the flower. I just don't like the whole thing around it. because if you go over it with paint now um, and without letting it get a little firm, um, it just takes all the detail out of the flower. So we need to give it some time. Let's have another look. And I want to be able to go on top with some things also. So let's see. Okay. So I'm going to let this dry and I will be back before you even know it. And um, we will go from there. Okay, so our flowers um, are not dry, but I'm, they're drying enough where I'm gonna glue them back onto the frame. Um, so we're gonna do that right now. Okay. So I'm just gonna pour the, either pour the glue out or just use a brush and um, stick it in the bottle. Cause I don't wanna get glue all over my hands. Cause that's just a nightmare. So what I'm going to do is just take off the top layer of flowers. And again, they're definitely not dry, but I do want to glue some down so that we can get to painting when we're done. So I'm just going to dump this out. Ooh, that's a lot. This will be the exciting part for you to watch. All the gluing. We'll fast forward through a lot of it, so don't worry. So just hold it for a second. Okay, stick this one on. See, it is a good thing to take a picture if you really love the way you have it. If you don't care, then we're gonna wing it. I don't know what's not glued. Maybe everything. Okay, so I'm gonna, I might make a few more of the small flowers, um, but basically we're gonna let this dry and then um, we'll be back to painting. Okay, so our um, flowers and leaves are kind of dry you know, some more than others, but so I'm going to paint it and I'm using um, the color crinoline from um, DIY. 
So I decided I'm gonna just paint the mirror and maybe do a um, transfer on it. And I'm using a soft brush because I don't want to um, use like a chalk brush and then um, squish all of our flowers. So I'm probably gonna need a couple of coats on that. And I'm just gonna lightly go in and give it some color. And it's basically just an off-white, but I do just wanna get a coat of paint on um, the flowers to help stop them from cracking. Some of the uh, smaller flowers, I made a few more when I was going through and seeing what I thought I needed. And this is not gonna be the final coat. Like I said, just trying to get a coat on it for tonight and tomorrow I will do a second coat. I don't know if you see this, but I have my um, DIY paint in here, the crinoline, because I ordered the bigger size, which comes in like a paint can and, um, oh, I just hate it. So I dumped it in here and it's so much easier. So I probably will order more of those and then I'll be able to order the bigger size paint because the smaller one comes in a little jar, which I like, but it's a smaller amount. But this is from uh, Amazon and I will list it if anybody is interested. Okay, so that should do it. And I will be back when this is dried for our, ne our next coat. So I'll be back soon. Okay, so after much deliberation, I have decided to try making um, my own colored wax to go over our flower frame. I also want to say is there's not one crack. So there is something to gluing it down, letting it dry a little bit, and then painting it. Um, not a single crack that I can see. If you see one, point it out. But, so I decided also to use this um, transfer from the IOD uh, ephemeral melange. And I'll just kind of show you a little bit. I'll put you down and we'll show you and then we'll make our white wax, and uh, my pink and red are white wax. So, just kind of get it straight, there we go. So it's mostly um, roses, which everybody loves. They're coming out with new, um, the spring collection, and I'm so hoping for some really pretty molds and some really pretty transfers. Um, let's see, so roses, and then this little girl, and then just some basic ephemera, and then there's like seed packets, which is where I got my, my um, transfer from was right in this little open space. And they, there's all different sizes. There's so much you can do with this. So there's like small, medium, and large. So if you're looking for one to try out, I highly recommend this. Whoa. Okay. So the inside of my frame here is three and a half by three and a half. And so this is clearly much bigger. So I'm gonna cut the this rose at the top off and kind of keep that date with that little bit of a rose and make sure you save everything because you can use everything. So I'm just gonna go around this um, rose right here and trying to make it look like that rose I'm cutting off um, was never there to begin with, so.
and then just take the paper and just rub it, make sure it's all sticking all the way down. It's called burnishing. There we go. Just love it. Okay, so, and I still might. I'm gonna stick this little, although it's right in the middle of the words. Yeah, I can't do that. Okay, I might find one later. So now we're gonna make our wax. So I've got a cup here and I put some white wax in it. And now, and I tested out what I did on my little paper plate. And I really like that. Although, because we can go a little bit more pink, it can be like, Two, cut, two toned like this is. Let's see. Oh, you know what? First, I'm going to uh, clear wax it. my dog for my spot here. Okay, so I have my clear wax and my clear wax brush. So you can see that this is for the white wax, this is for clear. All right, so everything is hardened, so hopefully nothing will fall off. And we're clear waxing it first so that anything we put on top of it, if we make a mistake, like trying to make our own wax colors, we can get back, uh, just wipe it all back to where the clear wax is. Feel good. All right, so we have our white wax. And I just poured my, um, this is, the red paint is called Marquee by DIY. And I just poured it into one of those plastic containers that I showed you last video, but I'll show you again. But you still wanna get every drop. No sense throwing this away. Sorry if you can hear the car. And I'm just going to wipe back a little bit of this. And then I'll find some kind of a jar that I can put the little wax mixture that we made so I can use it at a different time. I'm going to take a little brush and I'm just going to kind of Put some down here where it's a little bit too off-white, not enough color. But still keeping the dark spots, which are kind of just spaces that are showing the, the way the frame came with the dark stain.
All right. Okay, so now that we've used our new pink wax that we made, I'm going to go out on a limb here and paint the leaves green. Not sure how that's gonna look, but we did wax it, so we will be able to wipe it off if we do not like it. So I have here Waverly Chalk and Celery. Let's try this first. Got all my little brushes here. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of green. I'm going to take my moss green color and go over them with that and then probably dry brush a little bit more of the celery, which is a lighter color on top of that. Over the moss, the darker color, you just wanna, you don't wanna cover it completely. We're trying to get like a two-toned look, a natural look, like leaves are not just one solid color. So some of these, Still, I have to put the um, moss on because I had a little extra <laughs> extra on and, and you really should not put, make sure you put light coats because if there's wet sitting on it, it does wet the clay back up again, which in some cases is great if you need that. This case, not so much. So I'm really just trying to take all the wet glue off. I mean, glue paint off. <laughs> So some I have to go back with dark and add light and then vice versa. So technically I can leave the light ones and just do the dry brushing with the dark on top instead of trying to make them all dark and then do light on top. The next thing that I want to do is the gold. Because I just think gold can go with anything. I usually use my fingers, but I'm going to use a brush today. And I just want to hit some of the, the high points. We're not trying to cover the whole flower in gold. Although that would probably be pretty too, but it's not what we're doing. So you just want to catch the top of all the ridges. Take a little cloth and wipe it off. Okay. So this is our project. I don't know if you can see all the different dimensions. So thanks guys so much again for coming by. Um, and uh, I appreciate it so much. And what I would so appreciate is a comment. Um, like I say, I got a comment and this is a good example. From my last project that someone had said um, that my last video was long and it's hard to give time to a video that's a little bit long when only one project is being done. 
which that helps me out so much because I'm the opposite. I am like love watching long videos and with one project and and then when it's over, I'm like, wait, where are you going? Let's just keep going. So I am the opposite, but it's it's great to know that not everybody is like me. So um, I will do some quicker videos. Um, and it, it is, I have been picking out really long ones that have a, and the last video, if you go check it out, um, I changed how that was going, what direction, at least three times. And I love how it came out. So I'm glad that I did that. But yeah, it made the video longer. So like a lot of this painting, we'll fast forward through it. So nobody has to sit through that. Um, but other than that, any kind of comment would be so great. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to like and sub subscribe and share it, that's just icing on the cake. So have a great day, everyone. Thank you again for stopping by. Thank you to all my new subscribers. It means so much. And it means so much that people take the time to watch the videos. But comments would be so great so I can know which way to go. So hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.